I'm back with Game of Thrones, with all of my 999 and Microbug 129. We're back in this scene. They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here. Where is this with Garrett? I told you. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong, so don't give him any satisfaction. I think called a bolting. I'll tell you. He remembered that. Rash. You know what? Things are bad enough as it is. Just tell him to go tell away. To go away. I'll throw him out the gate myself. <laughs> now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men. Oh, Fred, here he comes, the fat guy. I thought Ramsey Snow was in the car. He is, but Lord Whitehill came on announced, so... Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. The late Lord Forrester was no... Shake his hand. My, house. my only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. Oh, screw you. I've been waiting for this day all my life. Foresters finally get the head you. How dare you? I dare. And I'll do as I damn well please. Screw you. And no bread and salt. What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody habit. You know what? Calm no yourself. Courtesies. I should have expected as much. Bloody foresters. Calm yourself, old man. You little fuck! <laughs> That's how you talk to a lord! I am the lord! The shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have you back, are they? We're the power in the north now. Roose Bolton is the warden of the north. Aye. And we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cunt. Lord Ethan, you're losing control of this. That's enough, Lord Whitehill. I'm not finished! Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business. Keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said, when your man attacked us for no reason. Liar! Attacked for no reason. No reason? You murdered his family. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? He acted in your name. Your men attacked and drew first blood. They murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. Soldiers were the hundred of their time. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? He was sent to the wall. Who the fuck <laughs> sent him to the wall? Answer me. Yeah, should we tell him? Who's the one who did? I did. I did. What? <laughs> it was my justice to deliver, boy. And you denied me of it. I'm not leaving until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roose Bolton. Um. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honourable men. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, what the heck? Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? I mean no disrespect to you, my lady. Considering your losses and all, this, this is not over. It's over when my son says it is. Thank you Thank for you coming. For coming <laughs> Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. That lad may be Lord of this house. Lord Bolton will have the final say. 
I'll send him a raven letting him know a forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. Ah, oh, screw you. You know what? You're a craven. You're a craven, Lord Whitehill. Ronnie, why did you have to do that? Because I'm the Lord here. He should know his place. Another achievement. Defiance or diploma. He stood up to him like a true lord. Yep, I am a true lord. My son, but you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. Right. King's Land. How do ravens know where to go? I don't know. I guess the they're trained. She's a handmaiden. She has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If it's presented to her as it should be. I'd actually love to stick around and move around, but I'm just gonna look for something important. Hey, look. <laughs> It's like, oh look, there's a letter. It troubles me to even ask this of you. But you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope, and can be a powerful ally. Especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. Hmm. Well, who's at the door? Me. One moment. Oh, sorry, lady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. No, it's fine. Come in. Send them away. Ooh, what will you do? I would let them in. But I wouldn't open the door. Are you Ronaldo? I'm just worried about my family. Ah, not for a moment, is it? It's kind of you to ask. Of course, my lady. You've always been kind to me. That is so He's nice. Right. Uh, lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. A cool boy. You work for Lady Marjorie? Hmm. I may be wrong. Seems like you do. Dun dun dun! Alright, enough. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sex, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei? They appeared to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but. What did they say? I couldn't make out much, but. I know they were talking about the Starks and House Forrester. House Forrester? Uh-oh. I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. But I thought you ought to know. Most people don't tend to notice a call boy. Not in King's Landing with so many lords and ladies about. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. Good night, lad. Marjorie, you're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Yeah, sure. Oh, no, there isn't, because you smell. The heck do you She's a female, you dummy. Yeah, that's why. She smells like makeup. That means no sense whatsoever. Right yeah, makeup has smell. Friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. Your breath smells, my lady. Sorry, my lady. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. My family wrote me, my lady. I don't doubt they must be overcome with grief. But you must not despair. We will get through this together. We will. 
We will. I understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the north whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the world set. She mentioned the northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. She was very pleased with herself. Her face I am no look. traitor. Said, I'm not a traitor. Of course not. It's only an excuse to torment you and, by extension, me. She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. For what, I don't know, but she's waiting for us. Why are you so scared, bro? I'm just thinking what, what a nurse I can do. Important. What do I say? Find a way to appease her. Humor her. Tell I'll her get her mad. Right, and that's going to help. See if the queen should. Ready to receive us. Are you so scared? Yeah. Why don't you trust me? You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. Uh -huh. That can go wrong for many people. Be like, I feel like I should be more appealing to her. Oh wait, I should feel another? Okay. Good luck. How is that funny? Because, I mean, people will be like, oh, so you don't want me to be true to the king? Alright, I'll just make her pissed off. Or those characters like Queen Cersei that will be like, oh, I should feel like I should make her pissed off. All right. Okay, there it is. The queen and the midget. I dare you to wait till she gets all the way over there. I dare you, bro. I dare you to wait. No. How is she faster than me? That's no fair. Stop, stop. Hello. How did he, are you controlling that? I'm not. Charlie you are. Marjorie. Remember? Oh, looking lovely this evening. Lord Tyrion. Your Grace? Yeah, I didn't really mess this up. With your permission, allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. This is how you do Hello, it. Hello, guys. You kneel before her. Your Grace. Girl knows her courtesies. Impressive. You may rise. Your house Forester is a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, Your Grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Okay. Is your family loyal to the king? I'm yes, my Charles, lady. The new Lord Forester. He's not here, is he? We she serve is. King Joffrey. The girl can speak for her house. Joffrey is the one true king, your grace. Hmm. And yet, for centuries the foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. A house of traitors. They were the wardens of the north. We all served at the pleasure of the king. Clever girl. <laughs> Perhaps too clever for her own good. Oh. Now did name Joffrey as the one true king. Well, is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Bruce Bolton? Absolutely not. He is the warden of the north, your grace. He is, and I, the queen regent, and Tyrion, the master of Coyne. She got you there, bro. Remarkable talent for answering questions. While in fact saying nothing at all. <laughs> She's answering questions that ain't really, my, uh, ain't really a worthy you question. You know what, I think I screwed up. Yeah, you were so silly. Even though you've seen all the episodes and many people watch, um, you watch. I still, you still I think up. nothing's gonna please her. Nothing gonna please you, bro. does seem rather unique. Yes, your grace. Yes, it would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? 
Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lately. There are limits, Your Grace. Yes, Your Grace. I would do anything. Uh. Ronnie, I do you see. know which one to put? Why don't you put the right one? What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. Oh well, yeah, that was a pretty true question. question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the war? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Oh great. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? I don't know. I won't judge her, Your Grace. I wasn't there. I didn't face her decisions. Why are you so scared? Yeah, I'm Why don't you trust don't like me? That. Why don't you trust me? Stop messing around. I hope you find it quickly. Why don't you trust me? Yeah. But why don't you trust me? Why don't you trust me? Shut up, just shut up. I'm trying to play. I'm gonna click A. Three. Wait, I don't even know what's in the north. Service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to the king, that must be absolute, beyond question. Alright, guys, that'll be enough. This has been, we'll be back another day. This is Ronaldo999 signing off.